Friends, this spoken tutorial is on projections of line inclined to both the plane. In this spoken tutorial, we will learn to imagine in three dimensions a line inclined to both the planes, develop procedure for drawing projections of line inclined to both the planes from three-dimensional reasoning and visualization, and finally, draw on paper solution of a question on line inclined to both the planes. Prerequisites for understanding this spoken tutorial are a thorough knowledge of orthographic projection, projection of points, and projection of straight lines in simple positions. Watching videos on YouTube, Khabiya Sir channel on topics mentioned will be highly useful. Let us now try to understand the concepts of line inclined to both the planes by the help of a question. The question is, a line AB3 of length 100 mm is given. Point A of the line is 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Line is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Point B3 is at higher level and far away from VP compared to point A. Draw front view and top view of the line. To understand the question, let me write the given data in a systematic manner. True length of line is 100 mm. Location of point A is 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Line makes an angle of 30 degree with horizontal reference plane. Line makes an angle of 45 degree with vertical reference plane. Let us now observe the 3D model in which line AB3 is positioned exactly as per instructions given in the question. In this model shown, the blue colored plane is the vertical reference plane. The yellow colored plane is the horizontal reference plane. The green colored trapezium represents a plane between line inclined to both the planes capital A capital B3 and the horizontal reference plane. The red colored trapezium represents a plane between line inclined to both the planes capital A capital B3 and vertical reference plane. The line of intersection of this green colored trapezium and this red colored trapezium is the line inclined to both the planes AB3. To show the line inclined to both the planes more clearly, let me remove this green colored trapezium and this red colored trapezium. This capital A capital B3 is the line inclined to both the planes. True length of our line inclined to both the planes is 100 mm. A small a small b3 is the top view of our line inclined to both the planes. And a dash b3 dash is the front view of our line inclined to both the planes. Let me bring back the red colored and the green colored trapezium to discuss more details. The angle theta hp equal to 30 degree is the angle between line a, B3 and the horizontal reference plane. Further observation helps you to understand that theta HP is also the angle between line inclined to both the planes capital A, capital B3 and its top view small a, small b3. One point I want you to understand clearly is inclination of line with horizontal plane is a different thing and inclination of front view of line with horizontal reference line is different thing. 
Inclination of line with horizontal reference plane is theta hp. It is the angle between line and horizontal reference plane or it is the angle between line and its top view. Whereas the inclination of front view with horizontal reference line is this angle 45 degree. It is the angle between front view A dash B3 dash and horizontal reference line XY. Inclination of front view with reference line is also sometimes called apparent inclination of line with HP. From this 3D model, you can also conclude that top view of the line is reduced in length because line is inclined to HP. You can observe that true length of line is 100 mm, whereas the length of top view of the line is 86.6 mm as given by AutoCAD. The angle theta VP is the inclination of line with vertical reference plane. A closer observation of the model reveals the fact that theta VP equal to 45 degree means that angle between line inclined to both the planes capital A, capital B3 and its front view is small a days, is small b3 days is 45 degree. One thing I want you to understand clearly is that inclination of line with VP is a different thing and inclination of top view of line with reference line is a different thing. Inclination of line with VP is the angle between line and vertical reference plane. Inclination of line with VP is the angle between line and its front view. In this model, theta VP is 45 degree. Whereas inclination of top view of line with reference line is the angle between top view small a small b3 and the reference line xy. In this model, it is 55 degree as measured by AutoCAD. In this model, you can clearly see that inclination of line with VP is 45 degree, whereas the inclination of top view of line with reference line is 55 degree as measured by AutoCAD. One more thing that I would like you to notice is that length of front view of this line inclined to both the planes capital A, capital B3 is less than the true length because this line is inclined to VP at angle of 45 degree. In fact, in the model, you can see that true length of line is 100 millimeter, whereas length of front view of line A dash B3 dash is just 70.7 millimeter as measured by AutoCAD now question arises how we will draw the projections of line inclined to both the planes on paper. To make orthographic projections on paper, we require true length of line at least in one of the views, either front view or top view. Now the problem we face while drawing projections of line inclined to both the planes is, since the line inclined to both the plane is inclined to HP, top view is reduced in length and we do not see true length in top. And since line inclined to both the planes capital A capital B3 is also inclined to VP, the front view is reduced in length and therefore we do not see true length in front view. Hence, we conclude that it is not simple to draw the projections of line inclined to both the planes on paper. Let us now see what data we require to draw the projections of line inclined to both the planes on paper. Number one is length of top view AB3 and number two is height of point B3 from horizontal reference plane or height of front view B3 dash from horizontal reference line. 
नंबर थ्री इज लेंथ ऑफ फ्रंट व्यू ए डैश बी थ्री डैश एंड नंबर फोर इज डिस्टेंस ऑफ पॉइंट बी थ्री फ्रॉम वर्टिकल रेफरेंस प्लेन और डिस्टेंस ऑफ टॉप व्यू बी थ्री फ्रॉम हॉरिजोंटल रेफरेंस लाइन इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द मॉडल केयरफुली देन यू कैन से दैट टू इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द प्रोजेक्शंस ऑफ लाइन इंक्लाइन टू बोथ द प्लेन्स आर अवेलेबल इन दिस ग्रीन कलर ट्रेपीजियम this side of green color trapezium gives us the length of top view and this vertical side of green color trapezium gives us the height of b3 from horizontal reference plane or height of front view b3 dash from horizontal reference line if somehow we are able to find true shape and size of this green color trapezium in front view we will get these two things to obtain the true shape and size of this green color trapezium in front view we simply revolve it about aa axis until it becomes parallel to vertical reference plane let me now show it to you this is the same model of line inclined to both the planes only change that i have done is i have removed the red colored trapezium from here now what i will do to obtain the true shape and size of this green colored trapezium in front view i will revolve it about aa axis until it becomes parallel to vertical reference plane and then in front view i will see the true shape and size of this green colored trapezium this is how i will revolve this trapezium about the axis aa until it becomes parallel to vertical reference plane like this let us look at it from a different angle this green colored trapezium i will revolve like this until it becomes parallel to this vertical reference plane and takes the position shown the line ab3 in the new position is called the line ab1 the line ab3 in the new position is called line ab1 simple line ab1 is parallel to vp and inclined to hp at same angle as line inclined to both the planes 30 degree and therefore length of top view ab1 is equal to length of top view ab3 because both simple line ab1 and line inclined to both the planes ab3 are inclined to hp at same angle 30 degree and second thing is height of b1 from hp is equal to height of b3 from hp because both simple line ab1 and line inclined to both the planes ab3 are inclined to hp at same angle 30 degree let me bring the model of line inclined to both the planes and compare the two models and make the conclusions more clear this is the model of the line inclined to both the planes capital a capital b3 and this is the model for the simple line ab1 and the similarity between simple line ab1 and line inclined to both the planes a b3 is that both are having same length 100 mm and both are inclined to hp at same angle 30 degree and you can very clearly see that length of top view of this simple line ab1 and length of top view of this line inclined to both the planes a b3 is same 86.6 mm similarly height of b3 from horizontal plane is equal to height of b1 from horizontal plane now let us start drawing projections of this simple line ab1 on the drawing sheet since this simple line ab1 is parallel to vp in the front view we will see its true length and true inclination with hp 30 degree and top view of this simple line ab1 will be reduced in length and parallel to reference line first draw horizontal reference line xy then draw front view of point a dash 
30 millimeter above the reference line because point A is 30 millimeter above HP in three dimensions. Then draw top view of point A 20 millimeter below the reference line because point A is 20 millimeter in front of VP in three dimensions. Then draw front view of the simple line AB1 of true length and showing true inclination with HP 30 degree. True length is 100 millimeter. True inclination of simple line AB1 will be visible in front view. To obtain top view of simple line AB1, draw projector from front view B1 dash perpendicular to horizontal reference line and draw top view. AB1 parallel to horizontal reference line and reduced in length. From point B1 dash in the front view, draw a line parallel to horizontal reference line called locus line for front view of point B. The significance of locus line is as far as location of point A is fixed, and as far as inclination of line with HP is fixed, height of point B remains constant. That is front view of point B will move on the locus line. Let us once more observe the model of line inclined to both the planes. Let us now focus our attention on this red colored trapezium. This red colored trapezium contains important information required to draw the projections of line inclined to both the planes. A dash B3 dash is the length of front view of line inclined to both the planes. And this side B3 B3 dash gives us the distance of point B from VP or distance of top view B3 from the reference line. If somehow we are able to find out true shape and size of this red colored trapezium, then we will be able to find out these two informations required for drawing the projections of line inclined to both the planes. To find out the true shape and size of this red colored trapezium, simply revolve it about the axis capital A, A dash until it becomes parallel to reference line and then in top view we will see the true shape and size of this red colored trapezium. Let me show it to you. This is the same model only change that has taken place is I have removed the green colored trapezium from here. This red colored trapezium I will now revolve about capital A A dash axis until it becomes parallel to the horizontal reference plane and this A dash B3 dash takes the position A dash B2 dash. This red colored trapezium I will revolve like this until it becomes parallel to reference line and 
takes this position. In this new position, line AB3 is given the name AB2. Simple line AB2 is parallel to HP and inclined to VP at same angle as line inclined to both the planes 45 degree. Since the simple line AB2 is parallel to HP, we will see its true length and true inclination with VP in top view and in the drawing sheet we can make its top view and then we can project its front view. Length of front view A dash B2 dash of this simple line AB2 will be equal to length of front view A dash B3 dash of the line inclined to both the planes. And distance of point B2 from vertical reference plane will be equal to distance of point B3 from vertical reference plane. Let me show the comparison properly by bringing the model of line inclined to both the planes also on the screen. This is the model of line inclined to both the planes AB3 of length 100 mm inclined to HP at 30 degree and inclined to VP at 45 degree. And this is the model of simple line AB2 of length 100 mm inclined to VP at same angle as line inclined to both the planes 45 degree and parallel to HP. And you can observe that length of front view A dash B2 dash is 70.7 mm as measured by AutoCAD and length of front view A dash B3 dash is also 70.7 mm as measured by AutoCAD. Hence, simple line AB2 gives us the length of front view of line inclined to both the planes AB3. Second thing to be observed is distance of point B2 from vertical reference plane is equal to distance of point B3 from vertical reference plane because B3 B3 dash is equal to capital B2 small b2 dash. Let us now start making projections of this simple line capital A capital B2 to obtain two more informations about the line inclined to both the planes, length of front view and distance of point B3 from BP. Draw top view AB2 of true length and showing true inclination with VP 45 degree. True length is 100 millimeter. And this is true inclination with VP 45 degree. From point B2 in top view, draw projector perpendicular to reference line and obtain front view A dash B2 dash reduced in length and parallel to reference line. From point B2 in the top view, draw locus line parallel to reference line. Significance of locus line is as far as inclination of line with VP remains 45 degree and as far as point A remains fixed, top view of point B will lie on this locus line only. Now, we want to obtain the front view of line inclined to both the planes. And the concept is length of front view of line inclined to both the planes will be equal to A dash B2 dash and height of front view B3 dash will be same as height of front view B1 dash. To obtain front view on paper, keep compass pin on front view A dash, adjust compass equal to A dash B2 dash and mark an arc on the locus line at B3 dash. 
A dash B3 dash is the front view of line inclined to both the planes. To obtain top view of line inclined to both the planes, the concept is length of top view of line inclined to both the planes will be equal to a b1 and top view of point b3 will lie on the locus line to obtain top view of line inclined to both the planes on paper keep compass pin on top view a adjust compass equal to a b1 and mark an arc on the locus line at b3 a b3 is the top view of the line inclined to both the planes let me now summarize the procedure for drawing projections of line inclined to both the planes to obtain length of top view a b3 of line inclined to both the planes and height of front view b3 dash from the reference line first imagine a simple line ab1 parallel to vp and inclined to hp at same angle as line inclined to both the planes draw front view a dash b1 dash of true length and showing true inclination with hp 30 degree and project top view ab1 reduced in length and parallel to reference line to obtain length of front view a dash b3 dash of line inclined to both the planes and to obtain distance of point b3 from vp or distance of top view b3 from reference line imagine a simple line ab2 parallel to hp and inclined to vp at same angle as line inclined to both the planes draw top view ab2 of true length and showing true inclination with vp 45 degree and project front view a dash b2 dash reduced in length and parallel to reference line draw top view ab2 of true length and showing true inclination with vp 45 degree and project front view a dash b2 dash reduced in length and parallel to the reference line then to obtain front view of line inclined to both the planes keep compass pin on front view a dash adjust compass equal to a dash b2 dash and mark an arc on the locus line at b3 dash a dash b3 dash is the front view of line inclined to both the planes to obtain top view of line inclined to both the planes keep compass pin on top view a adjust compass equal to top view a b1 and mark an arc on the locus line at b3 a b3 is the top view of line inclined to both the planes i hope that by the help of this 3d model of line inclined to both the planes and 3d model of simple line a b1 parallel to vp and inclined to hp and 3d model of simple line ab2 parallel to hp and inclined to vp i was able to clear the concepts of line inclined to both the planes and i hope now you will not memorize the procedure for making projections of line inclined to both the planes but when you will make the drawing you will imagine the things develop logic from imagination and then make the drawing on paper thank you for watching the video